Hey guys, how you doing today? Today we're going to continue in our series for newer wet shavers and this is going to be episode number eight. We're going to do a little face lathering and a demonstration. And today I'm going to be using a very special soap, one that I've never tried before, so this will be a, a new experience for me. Just got this today. This is Portis Kale, um, Citrus, Cedar, and Amber. And I got this from Rui from Portugal, my friend from Portugal. Thank you very much, Rui. I really appreciate this soap. It smells great. And we're going to face lather it and see how it goes. Now, I have been soaking my Samoag Owner's Club board brush for a little bit, and I recommend that you do that as well if you're using a natural hair brush. And I also put a little water in the top of the puck here. And what I'm going to do is take this soapy water and pour it right into a container. And the reason I'm going to do that is when I need water, I'm going to dip right into the soapy water. And any, any little thing can help you if you're struggling with lathering. So that soapy water might just be the thing you need to put your lather over the top. So let's go ahead and start loading while we're talking. And uh, there's no real set time for, or how many swirls you make when loading your brush. You just simply load it until it looks like it's getting a good bit of lather in it and go. And there are a couple of things to mention. Um, one being, it's not a crime to revisit the puck. If you start face lathering or bowl lathering and you don't have enough product, revisit the puck. Nothing lost there by revisiting the puck. Um, also, water. If you need to add water, dip your brush and add water. If you, Even if you're in the middle of uh, lathering your face, you need more water, just add it. There seems to be a thing in the uh, forums and communities where, you know, you, you lose your man card if you have to revisit the puck or, uh, you know, add water. And, and that's just not the case. Do whatever it takes to get your lather where it needs to be. So I think we're getting a decent load here. Wow, this soap smells really good, by the way. So, excuse me while I wet my face, and then we're going to begin face lathering. All right, let's give it a go. I find it easier to start here in the middle, and then work my way outwards, and I feel that that distributes the soap pretty well. And really, there's no magic here. You just, you know, some people make circles. I don't. I kind of just like to use back and forth motions. And you just keep working it. And as you can see, we're building a nice lather. Boy, this soap smells great. And once you get, you know, a decent uh, bit of lather built, if it looks too thin, you can add product and water. Um, if it's too thick, again, add water. But once you get it worked pretty well, you can start to use painting strokes like this. And you have to contort your face and all this kind of silly stuff, but ultimately you just want to get a nice, slick lather. And this one's starting to look pretty good. So let's see. Might need a little uh, water actually, but let's see how we... Yeah, you can actually feel it. If you put your finger to your face and run it down, it should glide very easily. You should feel a little bit of cushion, and if that's the case, you're probably doing pretty well. Also, you can obviously see how much lather you have. Another thing, too, if you take your hands and just scrape this lather off, like so, and you still feel some residual slickness there, that's a good thing, too. It means you're good, good and hydrated. It's a sign of a good soap. And again, this is very slick, even after I've scraped the majority of this lather off. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. So let me rinse this off and we'll go for another coat of lather. I'm not even going to bother rinsing it all off. We'll just, uh, we'll go again. Great smelling soap, this Portis Kale. Wow. It's hard to say what it smells like. It's, it's citrusy, but... It's really nice. And as you can see here, there's no magic involved with it. You know, if I felt like I didn't have enough product, simply revisit the product. If I don't have enough water, add water. No harm whatsoever in doing that. I'm getting lather all over the place. But that's fine. We're just having fun. Or at least I am. 
because this stuff smells great. Also, I'm using this uh, Samog SFC bore because it needs broken in. So this extra lathering will do it some good. And again, we're getting a decent lather. Is it perfection? No. Is it great for a serviceable shave? Yes. Don't pay nearly as much attention as to how this lather looks on your face. Pay more attention to how it performs, how the razor glides. Even if the lather doesn't necessarily look great, if your razor glides, um, if you get protection there, if you're not getting irritation, go with it. Now, obviously, if you have spots where there are no lather at all, that's not a good thing. and You don't want to go with that. But even right now, this is not a perfect lather by any stretch, but I guarantee you the razor will glide easily. I'll get a great shave from this lather. And let's look here again. Scraping most of this off, and we're still feeling really slick. And that's a sign of a good soap. At least I believe it is. Now, if you rinse your soap off or you scrape it off and it feels completely dry, not hydrated, not slick, maybe not a great soap. But this is feeling really good. So let me go ahead and rinse this a little bit and then we'll fill it and see how it feels. All right, so I've rinsed my cheek a little bit and still there's some residual slickness there. That's a very good thing, sign of a good soap in my opinion. So here we had uh, some basic face lathering. There's not really much to it. Let me show you what we have left uh, in the brush here, which is a decent uh, amount of lather. You can put that between your hands and it should be slick. There shouldn't be uh, any friction whatsoever when you're running your hands together. Again, that's sound of a good soap and a good lather, feeling slick, feeling cushion, glide. That's exactly what you want. Not really an exact science here. You just have to practice and you'll get it. The main thing is work the lather that provides for great shave. Don't worry so much how it looks, worry how it feels, and worry about the shave that it gives you. And as always, we say have a great day, have a great shave.